Dark Rock Bottles of History. Jerry, Robert, Oppenheimer, Fawcett! Immeasurable, inexorable, monstrous, with bars weighing on you harder than your haunting guilty conscious. I am Thanos, and I crush tracks like tesseracts in my palm. You're a pencil pushing Terran who never learned to love his bomb. Seems you started off a chemist, and on your world you were a prodigy. Well, that makes sense, as your rhymes are only hot periodically. Man, I burned the Avengers down to embers, sent half your planet to be slaughtered. And now I'm off and off and higher, like I did to my daughter. Got a physical when I'm rapping. Six infinity gems when I'm packing. Stick your tiny nuclear dick back into your pants. Dr. Manhattan, Hadron smashing all your atoms. Best not collide with me when I'm rhyming. Cause you break and bleed so easy. I think I'll call you off and hide. It's impossible to top me off me. You just don't have the stone. Apparently the only thing you're good at wrecking is a home. Cause you slept with your friend's wife. Right there in your friend's bed. Then got another married girl pregnant. You should have gone for the head. Listening to you took everything I have left. After your reps, I am become deaf. You need an Iron Man for that wrinkly ass skin and that butt, 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 butt chin. Here we go now. Where's your rhythm? I thought you had the time stone. Your punchlines sound like they came from Rhyme Zone. You might be something in the MCU, but between us, who's the worst MCU? Your dialogue's got too many breaks in the syllable. You talk so slow, Drax thinks you're invisible. I cause chain reactions when I'm lyrical, because I've got that fissile material. You were born to eternal, but came on looking so scary that your own mother tried to make you a temporary meanwhile i've mastered the atom more than any man alive now i'm here to split you like two and three from five yeah, i'm a peaceful man but i do what i must you had an evil plan thanos and it left you in the dust it must leave you enraged when you compare our talents because in this battle there is no balance for a communist pariah you come off as awfully cocky but i'll make you bend the knee in round two like nagasaki i'm the box office topper the marvel show stopper got my name on this win like it's the thanos copter you just got no answer for fortnite's dopest dancer i will low-key choke you out like my name was throat cancer you want to talk about death? How about the one that looked at you and swiped left? I'm the destroyer of worlds. You got your nuts handed to you by a squirrel girl. We're in the end game now, Tinky Winky. A physicist like Ant-Man. All up in your stinky. Anyone who believes that Thanos did nothing wrong crap has obviously never heard you rap. Oh, snap. Who won? Who's down? Yo, got some. Oh, boy. Yeah man, this is Russia One String, the only one string guitarist right in and around the world. Seeing I am what I am, I am the day I am that I am. Exclusive. Sha! Sure. Watch this. Hey! <laughs> you know my name is Brushy One String, you know. <laughs> I've been to San Francisco, that's where I see my friend Pancho. He say, hey, one string, there's something you got to know, you know. I say, yeah. <laughs> While we back on San Francisco, I ask where we go. We sing this whole country song like this. <laughs> chicken and the corn, on the corn can't grow, mama. Hey, hey, when chicken and the corn, on the corn can't grow, hey, hey, when chicken and the corn, so the corn can't grow, mama. Hey, hey, when chicken and the corn, so the corn can't grow, hey, hey. Young my well, San Francisco, yeah. We have a friend and his name was Pancho, yeah. He said once when there's something you got to know. Saddles and harasses Where we go with some best chicken and corn On the corn can't grow Mama, hey, hey, when chicken and corn So the corn can't grow Hey, hey, when chicken and corn On the corn can't grow Mama, hey, hey, when chicken and corn So the corn can't grow Hey, hey, don't need to bread, don't need to bow I get rubby for my pillow when I pull to pull For the music now, nice, so play them twice For the bros who scream like mass. My name is Rushy, I'm a king of swing. Let's so rap your music, can't let you sing. No, it doesn't really matter what our people want to say. I rap my music, not on there. Rap my music, not on there. Yeah. Yeah. When chicken the corn, so the corn can grow. Mama, yeah. When chicken the corn, so the corn can grow. Now, now, now. Chicken the corn, so the corn can grow. Mama, yeah. When 
American dream is dead. We're dying. We're dying. I never said I'm a perfect person. Nor pretended to be someone that I'm not. Anyone who knows me knows these words don't reflect who I am. The media is so dishonest and so corrupt. And the pylon is so amazing. The whole thing is one big fix. One big fix. It's one big ugly lie. It's one big fix. The press can't write the kind of things they write. Which are lies, lies, lies. Stories of fabrications and false. They write lies, they write false stories. Tone is such hatred. I've been thin-skinned from day one. The tone is such hatred. I don't have thin skin. I have very day strong, one. very thick skin, and I don't call it thin-skinned. I'm angry. I'm very angry. What do you have to lose by trying, Trump? What do you have to lose? Your schools are no good. You have no jobs! 58% of your youth is unemployed! What the hell do you have to lose? What indeed? It's happening. It's Sunday night. <laughs> Medium skin. Little bit of buffering, you say. Um, it looks good from my end. What does Twitch say? Says my connection's strong. Might be on your end. I don't know. I think everything looks good from here. No dropped frames. Strong connection. I don't know. It is very windy, though. So, like, who knows? Hey, cheers if you're smoking at home or even if you're ugly. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, it's the last day of the month. It's motherfucking Easter. Happy Easter, if you're celebrating uh, the, uh, the zombie lord out there. Um, yeah, happy Easter to you and yours. Um, I wore my most Easterish hat, which is a little bit too tight. Um, normally I have to wear a size 8 hat. It's the only hat that'll fit over my hair. Is the biggest hat that they make. Uh, but uh, this hat, I think it's like a seven and five eighths. Maybe it's a seven and three quarters, and it's a little bit runs a little bit bigger than they than that size usually runs. And it actually fits over my hair, but it's kind of tight. It kind of squeezes my head. But it's my most Eastery hat, so I, I got to make the sacrifice to celebrate the baby Jesus with pastel colors, like an egg. You know, not really the baby Jesus, the zombie Jesus. Anyway, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are celebrating our game of the month, which is uh, Super Mario World, The Princess Rescue 3. I mean, we knew that's what it was going to be. I, you know, I had other nominees. It was, uh, it was a ruse. It was a smokescreen. Um, trying to squeeze a little, uh, little excitement out of it. But we, we all knew. We all knew what game of the month was. Yeah, it's the... I mean... Let's go to the go to the record, shall we? If we look at the uh, previous games of the month and this game of the month, you'll clearly see. Uh, in January, it was Super Mario World: The Princess Rescue. In February, it was Super Mario World: The Princess Rescue 2. And so naturally, in March, Super Mario World: The Princess Rescue 3. It's getting hard to say that Super Mario World: The Princess Rescue. Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Yeah, Cheers again. I think there's a tiny bit in this, trying to clear it out. Yeah. 
what do you have to lose? Lies, lies, lies. Yeah, so it wasn't a 3D game for 3D month. I feel a small amount of guilt about that. Um, I hope that when they weigh my heart against a feather, that I'll consider some of my good deeds. And not simply my choice of a 2D game during a 3D month. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Jesus and the president. My normal light burned out, so it's kind of strangely dark. Right now you can see me because I got this, uh, this uh, spreadsheet up. It's bright white, so, but, you know, whatever. I'm down in the corner. You don't need to see me. It's fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to play uh, Super Mario World 3, Princess Rescue. Uh, but... We beat it, so I guess we're just gonna uh, we're gonna go through and try to play some of the bonus levels. Um, see, here we are at the end. And you know, like I don't know how long we're gonna play this. Like, I don't think we're getting through all the bonus levels tonight. So, you know, when when we've had our fill, uh, we'll move on. And before we end the stream, we will unveil the new wheel for April and give it the first spin. The virgin spin of April's wheel. It's uh, platformers. Uh, how many bonus levels? I want to say there's one for each world, so I'm guessing nine. Nine bonus levels? Does this take us to them? No. Did that other pipe take us to them? Hmm. So this is the first world. Yes, the red levels have two exits. Hi, Spuds. How are you? I read the message before I read who said it. Hello. Good to see you. Welcome. The March finale. I mean, I guess we could also just look at, like, the levels that we didn't get the... Like, this one we got the coins on. Uh, wow, I got them on a lot of these. This one I didn't. So we could go through and try to get the coins. Cause I'm not seeing, let's see if we even, I think we found the bonus world at some point. Maybe not. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I did some, uh, some working today. It was pretty chill overall though. And now we're, we're hanging out. Celebrating Princess Rescue 3, the greatest game of all time. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not, but it's pretty fucking good. Eh, I mean, it's fine. I, I wasn't going to do anything on Easter anyway. It was a pretty chill day. Not a lot of action because of the aforementioned Easter. So does this little uh, dark space below the house indicate a path? as if there is a secret exit from this ghost house. Because I'm not seeing... Uh, in the first two games, you'd find a place that would take you to a pipe that would then take show the bonus world. But I'm not even seeing that in this one. I mean, there's... Obviously, that one just goes to that level. That might be a pipe, though. I don't know.
Well. Let's see if we can get the exit on this one. Oh god, I gotta remember how the weird ways this controls with the, the floating and whatnot, and the double jumps and the the princess powers. I was about to say ice levels are a real drag, but they're actually the opposite of a drag because there's no friction, you know what I'm saying? Their lack of drag makes them a drag. have to have Yoshi to get that? Can I get up there? No. I must need Yoshi. Where can I find a Yoshi? so weird for there not to be a clock. It's like a whole, a whole, uh, a whole bushel of pressure is off me for some reason. I don't know why the clock would put any pressure on me. It has nothing to do with me, really. It's just how long we play it. But when there's a ticking clock, it's just intense. I don't know why. Oopsies.
Boo. 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 If y'all know, uh, what games the songs are from, just, uh, shout them out, you know? Takes a while to warm up those Mario muscles, you know? Ah, every time. When am I going to learn I can't jump over that? What the fuck, man? At least I learned to wait on that part. Fuck. Fuck. What's up here? Left me on 99. Harsh. Damn 
damn it. Slow going. Sometimes it gives you a power up and sometimes it doesn't. Is normal vanilla Super Mario World like that? Or is it always the same thing? Fuck. Ah. Ah. I'm boned. Harsh. Harsh times. Harsh times, man. Just, just jump into the enemy. Fuck it, you know? Fuck. meant to do, but it worked out. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck trying to get that coin up there. Ugh. Fuck me. Fuck me, fuck you, fuck all of this shit. Ah, ah, god damn it. Boo. Try to stay big. Want to stay big. Can't be big. What? How? What the fuck just happened? Did I somehow hit it twice? Is it because I floated? It's because I floated. It's because I held down the button. That's what happened. Goddamn. Sweet Jesus. Sweet zombie Jesus. Hmm. Secret exit. Oh, 
feel like this one's extra slippery. Gravity is happening. Ah. Ah. Why must everything be so slippery? Not a fan of the slippery. Oh, and I'm trying to find a secret exit for this too, aren't I? Fire doesn't take out this block. Thank you. 
Crash Bandicoot was the music. I was going, was I going this way? What is happening? What is even happening? music was Crash. We never, uh, we never played Crash Bandicoot in 3D month, but it's still on there, I believe, for platforming month, so. I was going this way? So confused. <laughs> I'm not that confused. I'm slightly confused. Ugh. All those times I hit snowboard kids. Yep. It's a cruel, cruel u universe that we live in, you know? I probably want this feather, huh? Well, so much for that. Whatever was up here? Yes. Yes, I did. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. God damn. the secret exit. Where could it be? I wonder if I've already passed it. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. something down there. Regular exit. Regular ass exit. I feel like there was something down there to my right, maybe, that we missed. Let's see. Let's try again. Strange. 
are in this thing. Dear Lord. Going. And what was in here? Just a coin, right? You jump on some things and then there's a coin over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball even come from? Is this the secret exit? This is a coin, right? And I already got it. Water and weed, get on it. These are essentials. Don't neglect your body's needs. Secret exit? Wherever could it be? Yeah, 
Uh. Did I think it was down there to the right before? There ain't nothing down there. need weed stat. Cheers. Ooh, water and weed. What's up, Holiday Rob? <coughs> Holiday Rob here. He's here, everybody. Holiday Rob. We got Holiday Rob here. Howdy doody. What's uh, cracking? Happy uh, rabbit egg zombie lord day to you and yours. Welcome, welcome. Get settled in. Grab an egg. <laughs> we got eggs. <laughs> hmm. You just flew into town and boy are your arms tired. That's a good one. Do you write that? It's really good. All right, we're trying once again to find the secret exit. I don't know where it could be. Fuck is the secret exit? Is it over here? No, that was a lucky jump though. over here. That's got to be it, right? So I must have to get... I don't think I can go in that jumping sideways, can I? Maybe I can. If not, you must have to get um, one of the other switch palaces before this one. That ain't gonna work. All right. Well, uh, fire exits are good too when you when you need them. All right. So let's uh, let's just go back all the way back. All the way back.
Okay. So first level, lovely plains. We have not gotten all the coins. Let's get all the coins. All the uh, special coins, the ones with the princess on them. I'm missing just one. See, in this one, when you get a coin, you've now gotten it forever. Like in the previous Mario entries, you'd have to get them all in one run and it would reset if you didn't get them all. But in this one, it saves it. Which actually, I guess, is helpful. It's one of the few ways they made this easier. Now, I thought this game was going to be easier than it is because you can do this, you know? Seems OP, but they built a good game around still making it hard, even though you can float all about. Oh. Got it. So I can just exit out now, right? Yes. See, now I have that coin icon up there in the upper right. So the moon is, I guess, the moon. I said that a little walkin'y. Uh, the moon icon is... Uh, the time trial. Like at the beginning of each level, there's a little clock, and if you grab the clock, it'll time you, and if you beat the timer, there's a moon at the end, a three up that you can get. I haven't been doing that. Let's just focus on these coins. Okay, I'm just missing one in this level as well. Final Fantasy VI battle theme. Makes sense, it's a battle level, the first battle level in the game. we found, maybe it was just uh, like an information block, but I thought we found the bonus levels in this one, in this game. Maybe not. Alright, get the coins on this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
is like the after hours lounge with Princess Peach. Chill out music. Sixty nine coins, nice. All right, racking up coins. We already got it at Serenade Lake, already got it at Back and Forth. We got it at Mole in Love Hills. Didn't get it in the Forest of Dreams. Oh no! Dang! 
Where's all the coins? What the heck? Huh. How'd I miss all the coins still? Guess I didn't try going down all the pipes and whatnot. And I kind of zoned out for a minute, so that could have something to do with it. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Because I took that and it is the secret exit even though it's not a key. That's why. That's why I missed all the coins, because they're past that. One more coin to get. Hmm. I missed it.
Haha. Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do the ghost houses always have a secret exit? Seems like this one probably does. See, doesn't it look like there's a little path above it? Yeah, Spuds, the coins unlock bonus levels, so like, you get... Gotta get a certain amount of, of them total in each level. And then... Like, once you've unlocked a certain amount of all five... In a certain amount of levels, I'm not making any sense, but... Yeah. You get this little, uh, <laughs> the little icon up there. Once you get enough of those, it unlocks the bonus levels, but I don't know where the bonus levels are yet. I feel like we found where they are at some point, but maybe I'm thinking of one of the first two games. No, you don't need them all, but they're increasingly, for each bonus level, you need more. They're like the stars in Mario 64 or whatever. So it looks to me like there's a little path above this ghost house, like there's a switch or something up there, because we haven't found the switch yet for the first world. something up there that made me fall. At least that's my excuse. Is this from Mario Maker? I don't even think I knew there was music exclusive to Mario Maker. So is there another door somewhere other than this one? So there must have been a coin right there, which is why those question blocks pop up when you press this. That's my theory anyway. I 
feel like maybe I should have used this back where it was. Where was it? Here? There's not a secret exit. If there is, I didn't find it. Maybe it had to do with that last uh, P switch, but I don't know. I wish I knew where the bonus levels were. Because if there is a secret exit here, that could be the path to that as well. Up up where those clouds are. Aren't those clouds suspicious all, all up above there? Seems like there's something up there, if there's a secret exit. Also, I guess we didn't get the secret exit in this one either. So maybe there isn't in the ghost house and there is in this. I don't know, man. Stop talking to me. If it's showing that I haven't gotten any of the coins, no, I've gotten all of them. That answers my question. There would have been one right there. So it's showing zero because I've gotten them all, I guess. Which is confusing. You think it would just show all five up there. Thank you. 
It's unrealistic. There's not even space for those moles to burrow down there in the skinny blocks that we just passed. Unplayable now. Everything was so realistic in Mario up till now, and it just takes me out of it, you know? Okay. I did get all the coins here. Okay. How'd we ever miss it? Alright, here we go. This will take us to the bonus world. I think. Ah, oh, so you gotta find one for each place. Alright, so I think we have enough to play this one, I'm guessing. I gotta take a quick pee break, though. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Till then, don't you go changing.
Fuck yeah. I need the meat. Hey, it's Hot Dad here. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, Hot Dad. If you like what I'm making, blast that subscribe button. Make sure you go subscribe to Hot Dad. Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is the uh, Star Road from Super Mario RPG that's in this part. world let's go let's fucking go oh and I oh Fucked. This is pretty hard. This is like almost to the like, maybe not Kaizo, but you know, people who are actually good at Mario. I don't know if I can do it. I bet I can do it. How hard could it be? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> pretty hard, apparently. Didn't even see that one there. Ah, how could I fuck that up? Dear Lord. <clears throat> flower Queen. Speaking of, of Flower Queens, let's uh, celebrate. I didn't survive that. I don't know which part you mean, but <laughs> cheers. Spark it up then. Roll it up then. Spark it up then. Nope. Oh, I'm fucked. Maybe not. Ah, I did it. Hot damn. Nice moves. Oh. Ah, fucked. Can't lose that flower. Gotta be perfect.
Get, oh my god. It doesn't help that everything's slippery, you know? What? I hit it twice? Fuck. 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 The spice must flow. Fuck. Oh my god, dude. The rage. The rage will flow. No rage on Easter Sunday. If you hold down that button, it makes you hit the block twice, you know? It's a bitch. I gotta do it the wrong way I did it the first time. Is that the part you don't know how I survived? Because I was pretty impressed. I actually meant to do, I mean, I didn't mean to miss it, the, or, you know, make the thing go away the first time. But, oh, fuck, now I can't do it at all. I don't know what was back there. I can't go look. Time keeps on slipping into the future. Okay. Oh, man. Freak out. Thanks for that. Yeah, let's save the state. Good call. Thanks, Spuds. Got my back. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Shameful. Just shameful. Take a moment here. Let me just... Sip my beverage. Listen to the magic-y space music for a sec.
freaking out, man. I'm gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. And I'm fucked already. Shoot the things. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck. It's so difficult. It gives me two flowers right off the bat. There's no time. I, f I always think I have more time to run and then jump off of that platform, but it disappears so quick. There's no time. No time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Fuck me. God damn it. No, fuck. Uh, okay. Oh no, oh no. Oh well, I got to another checkpoint, didn't I? I think I did. Man, I'm high. I started later than I normally do, so I was, like, already high, you know? No. Oh, fuck. Another one of these. At least it's given me checkpoints, you know? If I had to do all this in one run... Dear Lord. Okay. Nope. Die. Die, you fools. Oh, no. step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. Ugh. I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Am I, I'm already boned? I already gotta use my... Oh, come on. Fuck me. It's not going well, guys. It is not going well. Rough times. Welcome. We're struggling. We're struggling with our uh, our bonus levels here. Our, our first bonus level. We're struggling with a ah bonus level. Ok. 
Got to time it right so I can shoot the piranha flower thing with fire when it's out. Shoot the thing. Dear Lord. Okay. Ugh. Uh, we're not doing the wheel tonight, Blue. It's the last day of the month, so we're just celebrating with uh, trying to get through a bonus level of Super Mario Princess Rescue 3. And then we're going to unveil the wheel for uh, April before the night is through. Once I become too enraged to continue playing this. <laughs> Oh, shit. oh, yeah, buddy. So let's see if it opens a path or if we just have to go to each one individually or how this will how this will work. Yeah, just individually. All right. We did it. We beat one. <laughs> Sheer perseverance is how I'm alive. Did we get... Did we get all the stuff? We got all the stuff. We haven't gotten the time trials. Count me out, man. Alright, so here. Skyline Troubles. This sounds difficult. This is probably the easy way, the regular way. Let's see. Yeah, there would have been a coin there. And I already got all the coins, which means I went this way, which means I need to go the other way, which is probably the secret exit. Right? Oh, wait. No, this isn't... It started me at a... Uh, Checkpoint, I see. Okay, never mind. I thought I was so clever. was a coin or if it's the secret exit. Let's find out. Mm, I'm pretty sure this was a coin. I think I remember this. Hmm. 
no secret exit. Starting us from the beginning now, so... This is where I started, right? with the munchy munchy plants on it. How do I get rid of those and go down that pipe? Is there a way to do that? Going back. Going, going, back, back. See, there's that pipe down there. Is there any way to get rid of those? Where the block was on top of the other black, the screen transitioned up. there's anything up there. Hmm. Yeah, so I bet there's a P block. That's my best guess, because why else would that right there? Why would that pipe be there? Gotta be closer than this, right? Was there a P block? I don't remember. I don't think so. Not that I noticed, anyway. Up here. 
It's just the coins, right? I've been up here four times already. Something up there. Ah. It might just be a coin, but... Looking out, P Switch gets rid of the the munchers. I'll probably remember that in the future. Maybe, kinda, possibly, probably, ish. All right, got another bonus level. Thanks for the GG. Hot Gelectros. Whoa. Prepare yourself, princess. I won't let you escape this time. Holy shit. This seems like it's just like the boss fight in the actual game, right? Is it different? Damn. Seems exactly the same. Strange. Got a coin icon, so presumably there are coins. Is this like some sort of like crazy ultimate boss run or something? Visible fireballs against that orange background are brutal. Gotta keep track of them, you know?
don't know, man. How did I do this before? Dear Lord. a bit tough. Did y'all hear about the going? I heard it was tough. I heard the sledding was tough. this just the exact same final boss battle that we already did? Ah, oh, I just wasted. Ah, oh, whatever. Hmm. N39, hello. Good to see you. We're playing the bonus levels of Princess Rescue 3. And for some reason, this one is pretty much just the final boss battle again, or is exactly just that. Not pretty much. It is just that. So that sucks. Didn't think I'd have to do this again. Furthermore, I noticed <laughs> that there's a, uh, a coin icon for this level. I didn't see any coins from the first part, fighting Tatanga. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, oh, this part. Oh my god. Miss me, dear Lord. Dear, ah, oh, fuck, sweet zombie Jesus. Welcome back from Ad Hell. I have just died. I felt like I was gonna do it on that life, you know? <laughs> too bad four mushrooms don't make you four times as big. Yeah, that is too bad. That would have been helpful. I think. Maybe it would have just made me a bigger target. I don't know. Oh, cool. It's letting me start from here. That's nice. Ah, double jump on accident. Ah, oh, and I missed. Ugh. they're making me do this again what is this and there's a coin icon how am I gonna get five coins where are the coins okay <laughs> all right cool <laughs> you would have said fuck it well maybe we can do it maybe there's it's like an extended maybe it gets even harder than the uh normal end of the game. This is weird. Is this supposed to be happening? Because this is also only the second world's uh, bonus stage. I don't think you need that many uh, coin points or whatever to get here. So it just lets you like play the last boss fight before- ugh, I missed before you actually get to it. It's weird, right? Very weird. Fuck. A bonus to beat it early? Uh, let's see. Hot Jelectros, which I don't think that was the name of the final battle. I think it was called like the final battle or something. All right, let's give this another another couple shots and then reevaluate our lives. Oh. 
Ha ha! Oh man. I love how Bowser looks around. He looks around kind of like the Doom guy, you know? Start there. Yeah. yeah, it's all the same dialogue and stuff too. How odd. Oh. There's a bonus exit that allows you to get to the boss early in the soup in the original Super Mario World. That early though, the second world of the game. that miss. Fuck you. Come on now. What? Oh, am I supposed to be hitting him now?
Oh, second world secret exit takes you to the star world. You beat a f Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now that you say that, I vaguely remember that being a thing that I've seen. <laughs> hmm. Is this homage to that thing? If you notice, the shell is coming from Luigi's side of the cage, proving once again that he is the superior Mario brother. Oh. Ooh. Fuckers. <laughs> yeah, we did this. We beat it again. Interesting. Later. Yes, everybody's happy. Yeah, so this must be just homage to the uh, the secret exit to get to their last name is Mario Ziltoid. It's called Mario Brothers, but what? But that's his first name. Why does Mario get top billing and Luigi gets nothing? They're Mario's name is Mario Mario, and Luigi's name is Luigi Mario. Which is ridiculous, but that's... I believe that's canon. <laughs> I will not shut up. I speak facts. <laughs> Look it up, bro. <laughs> Alright, happily ever after. I don't want to do all this again. Do I have to? <sighs> so you could hit the spaces. It's like a little bonus game. But I don't want to. But I'm doing it, apparently. me out? It won't. It'll let me pause, but it won't let me exit. So we'll let the credits play. <laughs> well, we beat it again. It seemed easier the second time, which I guess makes sense since I had done it before. Didn't expect the second bonus level to be the final boss battle. Was I correct, Ziltoid? Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, yes? Is your world forever changed by this information?
Fratelli. Hmm. Was that like an earlier thing before they like retconned it and made it Mario Mario? You're talking about the new Super Mario Brothers movie? Because the Mario Mario and Luigi Mario thing existed before that. I don't know where it originated exactly. In the new animated one, it's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, right? Or is it not? I, I don't remember. I've seen it twice, but my memory... I got too many fake baseball facts to remember. Speaking of which... This has been a great baseball season in Atlantica so far. Uh, if you're not if you're not doing the Atlantic baseball, if you haven't been keeping up, go here if you want to learn all about fake baseball. It's better than real baseball, uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I follow it much closer than any sort of major league. Apparently, like the face of baseball is like gambling on himself or something. I don't know. I barely I barely know what's happening with these things anymore. Can you gamble on Atlantica baseball? You know, that's something we should maybe get going. We could do something. Uh, I mean, on the streams, we could do a prediction, but... So you could gamble channel points on a prediction when I'm streaming baseball. That's something we can definitely do. Um, I wonder if I can put some sort of fake economy like on the blog or something. Get some sort of gamble widget. That'd be pretty fun. I don't know. It might be a thing. I bet it's something I could get if I like paid WordPress, but I, I'm not fucking... <laughs> I'm not paying them. Not until I run out of storage space, and that's like years from now. So, All right. I think that's going to be it as far as uh, as far as the Princess Rescue 3. I think I've had my fill. We played it for a couple hours. I think I'm good. There might, I mean, there's got, there could be a way. I mean, we could just, like, keep track of it, you know, like, in a Discord channel or something. Just, you know, pen and paper, fucking Dungeons and Dragons, that shit. Rotisserie fantasy. We could do fantasy. You could do fantasy uh, Atlantic baseball. Like draft your teams and all that. Dude, like all the real shit. You have to do it like yourself. But it's doable. Money? I mean, yeah, you can make it a pool. If you can get other people to gamble with you on Atlantic baseball, you could. everyone could put up money. I, I, maybe I'm not allowed to support this on Twitch. So no real money. But you know, there's no gambling allowed on, on here. I'm not allowed to promote gambling. So, like, definitely don't gamble. But, like, theoretically, it could happen. All right, so we're going to uh, we're gonna move on to the wheel, but we're gonna unveil the brand new wheel. So this is it. Let's say goodbye to this layout. It's been very good to us. We got the we got the melon, we got the the weed leaf, and we got the the glasses. We got the whatever the fuck this is, some sort of sacred geometrical object. We got the 3D background on the uh, on the chat there, but we're gonna move on to April. So everybody, get one last look. Let's let's, uh, let's take one last toke. I'm gonna empty out this bowl, pour one out for the uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Snowboard Kids. Pour one out for the wheel. Let's take one last look at the wheel, shall we? Hold on. All right, one last look at the wheel for March. There it is. 
that's what's left of it. It had a lot more games when we started March, but we whittled it down because a lot of those were fucking trash. They made me very, very upset. So we yeeted those bitch-ass games. Kept only the good ones. We never did play uh, Crash Bandicoot. We never played Super Smash Bros. Uh, I don't even know what this one is. Space Station something? Let's, uh... Space Station Silicon Valley. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I must have read it on like a best of N64 list or something. No idea. And then uh, Pilot Wing 64 we never played. We also haven't gotten to Odd World, Abe's Odyssey yet, which Spudzilla uh, put on the wheel with a redeem. You could do that too if you want to add something to the wheel. Check out the, the channel points down there, down here, below my hand. <laughs> wherever it is cheers cheers if you're smoking at home or even if you're ugly one last time for the wheel in march we'll reload this bowl so we can christen the new wheel properly Goodbye to the wheel. For March. So long. Sayonara, etc. We'll get the one for April all set up here. And then we'll switch over, and hopefully, when I switch uh, scene collections, it won't crash OBS. I feel like it makes it feel a little, a little icky sometimes when I switch between. Anyway. It's gonna be fine. If you want to uh, get a look at what's on the wheel, you can do that. Here's the link. It's got the whole list for what we've got on there. For April, we're doing platformers. Spring, you know, like jumping. That's all I could come up with. Sprung spring platformers for April. All right, we're switching over officially. See you in a sec. Ayo. It's all springy in here. Look at this. The lights a little brighter. Everything's green. We got sprouts, we got eggs. Which, that's why I knew I had to stream today, because Easter is all weird and early and not in April this year. So we got eggs, we got springs, green, we got flowers. It's beautiful. Happy spring, one and all. The world is blooming. It's also a vampire sent to drain. Cheers. Yeah, spring has sprung. So we got a big, uh, big, big list. There's 83 games. Um, I'm not reading them all off. I mean, we can scroll through it here. Uh, look at some of the. Uh, we got. Look at all these Castlevanias. We got a shit ton of Castlevanias. Uh, Legacy of Darkness, which is like a re-release of the Castlevania 64 that we played on stream and that kind of sucked but it's like a re-release of it that is supposed to be like mostly the same but like slightly enhanced Castlevania the adventure is rough uh, I played a little bit of that I believe on stream back in October but that was before we started doing a spreadsheet I think I played that one um, but I'll, probably only for like 15 minutes you know that was when we first started doing the wheel. We got so we got Celeste. We've got some uh, some modern games on the list. 
We've got Celeste. As long as it stays on Game Pass, because I didn't buy it. I've already bought. So here's a sad story about the li- the uh, the wheel list this month. Uh, I tried to put Commander Keen on there, and uh, I even bought it on Steam, thinking that would make it work. But like something about DOSBox, like it won't work right with OBS. And I read a bunch of shit about it, and my head was swimming. So I could probably figure it out, but like for one space out of 84, <laughs> I've done enough, you know. So we got all the Donkey Kong countries. We got Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii, which I didn't even know existed. So that's cool. But so I had to figure out emulating Wii for this. Um, we've also got. Uh, we haven't gotten to it yet. We've got like every Mario game up through. Uh, I put Mario Galaxy on here. So we also have uh, Sunshine. I've never played either of those. Um, it might give us a little bit of a, a hiccup because it's harder to emulate. You gotta like do stuff with the controllers. I mean, it's doable. I, I've done it all. It's just, you know, on the fly, on the stream, it might take me a minute to figure something out. Anyway, we got Gex and the 3D Gex. Kid Dracula, which is a uh, Castlevania spin-off for Game Boy. Kid Icarus, which I don't think I've ever played. Maybe I played it for like five minutes once. Mega Man, Mega Man X. I didn't put all the Mega Mans on here because I've never really played those. So I wanted to play like the first one first. And maybe I don't need to play them all in order, but like, you know. Um, Metal Gear Solid's on here because it's part of the staying power list. So it's one of our 40 minute games put Michael Jordan on here. <laughs> Abe's Odyssey, courtesy of Spudzilla. Uh, Pitfall 3D, which we I liked last month. Mega Man 1 is hard, 2 is easier. Do you recommend I put the easier one on there? You know how badly I suck at video games, Spuds. probably stop hitting this for a minute like crazy high crazy high i got cotton mouth i need a beverage two is more fun you'd say play two then go back to one if you like two i'll take your advice watch this two we got to change it here as well Mega Man. Mega Man 2. Done. I have heeded your advice. Your advice has been head. He- heated? It's been head. <laughs> All right. uh, Noita, which is a game, uh, a Steam game. Uh, uh, friend of the show, uh, I Don't Like Jello, turned me on to this. I saw him playing it on stream and I got it. And it's difficult, but I like it. It's like a. It's kind of like Terraria without the building, just all fighting, roguelike, difficult. Um, Resident Evil's still on there till the 18th of the month, at least. A um, bunch of Sonic games, spider Man still on there, Splatterhouse, Wampaku Graffiti, which I fucking love. It's like a self-parody, parodying Splatterhouse game that's all cutesy. I like it better than the regular Splatterhouse games. Uh, Spyro's back on there. It's a platformer. You could keep playing Spyro. Steven Strangest Day back on there. And then another Castlevania. Even more Castlevania. Which is gonna... That's where the rage is gonna come from. Is Castlevania. Then we got all these Super Mario games. All the Super Mario uh, this one was a, a hack that we played a little bit back in January 2012. We never finished it. Yeah, all these Super Mario. We got Super Meat Boy. And we got Super Meat Boy Forever, which is or was free on Epic. If you have the Epic Games account, it's maybe it's not still free. I don't know. Um, 
But strangely, the second Super Meat Boy is like an auto runner. Um, not as good as the first one, but better than I thought it would be. Like, I don't know if it was made as a phone game, Super Meat Boy Forever, the second one, but it's kind of like a phone game. But it's still pretty fun, but nowhere near as fun as the OG Super Meat Boy, which is one of my like favorite games ever. So I put Terraria on there. That could be interesting. Um, another Pitfall game, the NES one. Uh, Yoshi's Story. We still got these on there. So the list is jam-packed. I'm gonna start stop uh, yapping about it. You like to Terraria, Spuds? Yeah, I like Terraria. I don't really have the patience for it. I play it in spurts. If we land on it, you'll I'll play open the game I've played, not for like a year or something, maybe six months. Anyway, enough chatting. Let's uh, let's do our little uh, lottery draft first. Pick five spaces to enlarge. So let me shuffle up here. Uh, donkey. Oh, shit. But which one is it? I can't tell. Oh, no. This is a flaw in my... Which Donkey Kong country is it? There's no way to tell because everything is so... Because uh, there's so many Donkey Kong countries. I mean, it's the only one I've played before, so I can figure it out that way, but I'm not always going to be able to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I know what I can do. It was the lighter blue one. It's this one. Okay. We'll enlarge that to three. Um... Let's just try another shuffle, see if it works. Earthworm Jim, it worked. <laughs> I remember renting Earthworm Jim uh, when I was, you know, a child when it came out. I think I liked it at the time. I don't know. Uh oh, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, and it's already at 3x, so it's gonna go up to 5x. That doesn't bode well. All right, two more shuffles. Oh, the same Donkey Kong Country. Which one was it? It's the light blue one. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2. So that's going to go up to 5x now. So one more shuffle. Uh, Rayman 2. I've been playing a lot of that lately. The wheel seems to like it. So interestingly, landing on games we've already played in the past. All right, we're gonna shuffle again and we're gonna spin for real. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, on the edge of my seat. Sonic or Terraria? Sonic 3. We have not played this yet. So we're going to do a 20 minute trial. Yeah, Sonic 3. It's, it's better than one and two. That's good to know. I think I've played all of them. I think I've beaten all of them on, at one point. Like when I first uh, got the got into the emulation, you know, back in the day. This was like fucking you know, 20 years ago now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure I played them all back then. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Hold on, I can't see the thing, we got a tough and tough, oh god, 
All right, let me let me fix the the layout here. Blue underscore X just reviewed Puff and Tough. Let me puff tough. Cheers to you and yours. smoke you might light it on fire but much like a paper doll I could accidentally light my hair on fire you never know Sonic 3. I've also got Sonic 3 and Knuckles on there. On the wheel. What is happening? Start the game. What the fuck? <laughs> I keep hitting back, I guess. You got me one toke over the line with your redeem, Blue. I've puffed too tough. No, I'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh no. Oh no, my gems. So what was the deal with Sonic 3 and then Sonic 3 and Knuckles? It was like an add-on and then you stuck the original game inside of it? Is that correct? I never had the Sega, so I didn't, you know, I don't, I don't know these things. No. This is making me pretty dizzy. <laughs> uh, oh no. That was wild. They added more levels after you get to the last area, but before the last boss. Oh, okay. I thought they were like, it was a totally different game. Oh, all right. Well, maybe I should have just played the Knuckles one. But I'm not. I'm playing this one. <laughs> okay, all right. How fitting for uh, for Easter playing Sonic Eggman, right? The Eggman. Why? 
Why does that exist? <laughs> So here's what I don't understand about Sonic, right? Like, if you're supposed to go fast, why are the levels not really oriented around going fast? They're always like, uh, all this hidden stuff. So I'm like getting mixed signals. Am I supposed to go fast or not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it punishes you for doing the very thing it advertises. And that's why I've never been a real big Sonic fan. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. I don't, like, hate it. But I do feel that it's somewhat overrated. And definitely not even in the conversation with, like, Mario as a which is better situation. <laughs> I like Sonic. I just... I got... I got beef with the concept, I guess. It's still enjoyable. Whoa. Oh. oh no. I thought that was going to take me out of it. Didn't I go out of the level last time I hit one of those bumpers? Or no? Did I get all the things or what? What's happening? <laughs> Shit, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Hype.
Does the water come back? Seems like no. Oh, oh no. so many different ways to go through the level, which I guess is interesting. I guess it gives it like replay value, right? But I feel like playing through it, it it's frustrating because I feel like I can't go every way, right? So can I breathe underwater since I have the bubble? Go this way. Okay. Is my bubble. So why do you say this one is superior? What makes this one superior to the to one and two? fire. Oh, what happened? Was I supposed to push a button to keep going? What? Interesting. <laughs> it's over here. Ah. Levels are better too, aside from Carnival Night. My rings! Fortress zone. Man, I do not remember. I must have just been high out of my mind just playing Sonic for days and beat them all in a week or whatever, and that was it. It obviously didn't stick in my mind much. I'm pretty sure I beat all three of them. I don't know if I beat the Sonic and Knuckles one or the regular 
Obviously, I didn't know about the difference till right now. So. Whoa. Indicator somewhere? I mean, I hear that dinging. Do I just have to count dings? has better jams. Yeah, the music in Sonic is consistently pretty sweet, I think, right? Is this the one that's like the Michael Jackson rumors? Is that Sonic 3? Like some of the songs are supposedly written by Michael Jackson. But it's not credited. bubble. Oh, my beautiful rings. Yeah, this is the Michael Jackson one. Word, word, word. Oh no, I'm going to drown. Oh no. Oh, a bubble, please, sir. No. Oh no. Sweet rings. Oh, what's this? Ooh. So can I breathe in this here bubble or or what? Whoa, 
doesn't matter, does it? Give me air, give me air, give me air, give me air! Oh, oh no! No! So close! Also, a, a launchy mabob. Give me some air, baby. Sonic is sassy with it. It's cool how it just like immediately starts the next stage, you know, like there's no no cut away from it. All right, we're going to save our spot there and we're going to go to our report card. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Last time we played a Genesis game was back in February. Wow. 
or at least a new one. Because 3D, you know? 3D in March. We'll definitely keep this one on the wheel. I'll play it more. The best Sonic game? We shall see. Wait, where did it type that? What is happening? I typed it. Oh, it's white. Why is it white? <laughs> and bold. White and bold. <clears throat> All right, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um, I mean, I'll give it a B plus. It hasn't pissed me off. It's, I mean, my gripe with Sonic stands where it's just kind of like, yeah, it's fun, but like, am I supposed to go fast or not? Like, what is the, I can only say it so many times. That's how I feel about Sonic games. All right. I'm going to take a sip. I got the, the cotton now. Cheers. Spin the wheel. Might be the last spin. Maybe not. Who knows? Never go fast. Okay. There's a time limit too, but it's like 10 minutes or something, right? Super Pitfall for NES. Interesting. I don't think I've ever played this. I remember seeing it. There was a store called the Video Game Store. It was like an independent video game store, and they had rentals, and I remember seeing this there. But by the time I ever went there, I had already... I was on uh, Super Nintendo by that time. Um, yeah, Super Pitfall. don't think I've ever... I think I've ever done this one. Maybe I have. Twenty minutes. Super pitfall. <laughs> I haven't played an NES in a long time, huh? All right, so we're we're Spelunky Mario. Can I jump on it? Nope, I cannot. Okay. It's shrill, right? Yeah, right. It's loud. How's that? Better, better, better. Woof. I have a gun. Okay, I have 19 shots left. Does the water hurt me? No. But I bet I can drown, right? Can I swim? Yeah, look at me. We're heat seeking. We got heat seeking frogs in this game.
Oh, yeah. Oops. Fuck. Well, at least I got some gold, right? Sorry, I gotta shoot the frogs in the face. I know I'm invading their home, but I gotta get that gold, so like, they're in the way of progress, you know? Not my fault. I mean, I know I'm the one pulling the trigger with my invading fingers, but like, ah, oh, fuck. Is that it? Game over, man. Game over, man! So this is why we used to just do 15 minutes when it was NES games, because they can be kind of a little rough sometimes, rough around the edges. Ah. Game over already? No, still one more. <laughs> wonder if they body slam you like they do in the 3D one the controls are not great A bit slippery and floaty and jerky and all the bad things. Let's see, like what the fuck? Uh. Ah, see, like I know, I know, it's a skill issue. Right, right, right. That's because as I've as we've discussed back in the day, they expected you to like sit down with your purchase and really get the most of it, you know? And then they're like, oh, we can just make them easy and then people will buy the next one. Let's do that. We'll sell more games. What happens if I keep going this way? <laughs> My gun doesn't shoot underwater. The swimming is interesting. You can, like, feel the current, kind of. Alright, got a little gold. I mean, am I just supposed to go through and get all the gold, or what's the, what's the goal here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. at some point.
Well, you win some, you lose some, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take a gamble. Not that we promote gambling here. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Can I shit in this hole? Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, that was that was crass. It's not that kind of show. Maybe it is. Where do I go? Where have I been? shit in a hole. I just zoned out. I just jumped right into the frog. Alright, we're halfway through this. It's time to get serious about Super Pitfall. to breathe air or... Whoa. what is happening holy shit <laughs> is this good that was insane think is it better than the Atari one Atari's not on the wheel I didn't I didn't go back that far I feel like the Atari one oops is more well known than this one right Come on, you saw, I was on the platform. I was not touching the forward when I landed. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, Super Pitfall. Don't be like that. No, face the right way, you son of a bitch. It's rough out here. 
the pitfalls are super in this game. I'm just wandering kind of aimlessly every time. This is where I fell all crazy far, right? Is this good? Is this what we want? <laughs> that jump you think yep sure can Like this is a, a having to learn the lay of the land kind of game, right? You gotta learn where stuff is. Oh, what? What the fuck just happened? Alright. Well. Hey, 420 on the clock. and bullets. Getting bit by piranhas. are falling off exactly I singed my eyelashes a little bit thought I was well below the piranha. What language does piranha come from? There's an H in it. Piranha. Piranha.
Can I make this jump, you think? Ugh, maybe. I want to know what those balloons are all about. I'll try one more time. isn't repetitive or grating at all. Not even a little bit, right? It's great. Maybe we've been a little bit spoiled with the uh, N64 and PlayStation games and didn't even realize it, you know? Some, it's like sometimes the synth bass player just like throws in a little improv lick or something. It's very strange. No, oh, fuck. I thought it would keep going, you know? Game over. Alright. Once more into the fray. Okay, that's super pitfall. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> super pitfall. NES. Uh, I don't think we need to. I think we got what we need to get out of it, right? We can say we played some Super Pitfall for NES. It was fine. I gotta take a hit after all that. I mean, it was fine. It was janky. Not great. Fine. Janky? Is it with an A or a <coughs> an E? Feels like an A to me. We're gonna go with A. <coughs> um what do we give it? C minus? Is that too harsh? C. I'll give it a C. Pretty decent. I mean, it was playable. If it was the only game I had, I'd play it and like it, you know? It's fine. Well, I did say not great in the notes before I even went to this. So you know what? I think we got to give it a C minus. I mean, it's right there in the language. 
right? If I don't give it a C minus, then this scale here means nothing, right? Does this institution have no integrity? We're taking this all the way up to the Supreme Court. Trash can's very full. There's very little chance I have to make it. I gotta like knuckleball it and get it to land on top. Let's see if I can do it. It didn't fall. It's like right on the edge. I'm counting it. I made it. I'm saying I made it. All right. We're doing one more spin. We can remove Super Pitfall. Let me remove it here as well. The first casualty of the wheel in April. It's kind of taken on a, uh, a survival. Does the game survive and stay on the wheel? It's sort of whittled down over the month in March, you know? A lot of games got the boot. Super Pitfall is the first to get the boot in April, even though it's not April. I guess it's April in, like, Boston right now. So. It's been April all damn day in, like, Korea, right? All right. <laughs> Let's, uh... One more spin of the wheel. If it's 40 minutes, I might regret it. But let's find out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> can't be happening this can't be happening this is not happening this is not happening this is not happening oh my gosh all right i'm gonna have to take the dog out because she's looking antsy so let me do that and we'll play 40 minutes of this goddamn game and i'll try to finally beat the stage that we've been on forever and i might freak out i'm not gonna freak out it's gonna be fine all right bong is out we'll figure that out later <sighs> of all the things it had to land on this what did I do wheel I cultivated all this nice games for you for this month and this is what you give me. I mean, I put it, it's still on the staying power list, so it's my own damn fault for putting it there. But, uh, well, shit. I'll be back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shout out to the homie Audax Smoke. Uh, they make music uh, by the name A E C K. Um, they are also a streamer. So that was who we were listening to while I was taking the dog out. Whew, all right. I got a new bubbly water. I'm sure Audax will still be going. In 40 minutes or sooner if I rage quit. <laughs> uh, so we'll probably we'll probably raid them when we're when we're done here. Oh man. Whew. I can't believe I have to do this right now. <laughs> Harsh. We'll do one more wheel spin. <laughs> uh my naivete all right it's gonna be fine I mean worst that can happen is I just lose for 40 minutes it's happened before and I survived it mm. 
Game over. <laughs> Whew, all right. Here we go. Not a great start. Not a great start. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. extra shot thing and I didn't get to it in time. This game is so cruel. Where I hit the jump button. I guess I had hit the whip button too recently when I hit the jump button. It's not where the meat was, was it? I hope not. I don't think so. Oh, I didn't want the axe. Fuck the axe. Fuck. This is where the meat is.
This part's so tedious. Especially when you've lost 15 times already and you're gonna pull the cartridge out and light it on fire. This is a knife? I think I want the knife. Or do I want the axe? Maybe I want the axe. Jesus fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Infuriating. So, okay, this part I think we figured out is like timed and not based on how much you hit them. I don't know. Well, that doesn't help. It's just so brutal you gotta go all the way through all the shit again. The short whip now. Some bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it is insane. Ah, oh, and I missed the meat. Oh, I am the opposite of Arby's right now. but then I'm going to waste because I started I mean at least it started me where it did it's not the whole level but I'm, I'm not going to have as many hearts so I don't want to really waste them all here but this is so much easier than <laughs> although it's weaker too isn't it oh I got hit at the end fuck you fuck you these old games are brutal yes indeed I mean, yeah, we know this. That's why they call it NES hard, right? It's a whole thing. And then by the time I get here, I hardly have any health. I get hit like twice and I'm fucked. Like, it's so brutal. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah. Oh. This one's higher. Is this where I want to be? Nope. Fuck me. <laughs> Half an hour of this. I might take it off the wheel if I... Is that against the spirit of the, uh, the staying power games? Just give up. <laughs> I mean, I like it. I like everything about it. All the aesthetic and the music and the, the hot whipping action. But like, dear Lord, I've been on the same level for like five streams, it feels like. I don't know how many it's been. Maybe it's been three or four. I don't know. It's been at least three that we've been on this level. So that comes out to 
what, an hour, hour and a half so far, at least, that we've been on this level? I don't know. I can't do the math right now. At least the, the same song we have to hear for 40 minutes is uh, a banger, right? Duck, you fool. Jump, you fool. <laughs> Damn it. Man, we've only been going for 14 and a half minutes on this. Uh, I want the cross. Cross. Nobody can cross it. Okay, alright. 
You know what? I'm gonna just save scum right here. We're set up nicely. Got 50 fucking things. Got the cross. We got full life. We've already established that this institution has no integrity, so... Save scumming it is. I don't give a shit. I, mean, I don't even know if that's the right term. Save states. Using save states. Scummily. I don't know if it's technically... You know what I mean. Cheating. Motherfucking cheating. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Taking advantage of the save state. Is it timed, or do you have to get them down to that amount of health? I can't tell, because it seems like I did it faster that time. Cross is the way to go, by the way. Cross. Nobody can cross it. Official man or official woman. Trust me. Oh, lost the cross. Oh, well. No time to dwell on it now. No, oh no. Fuck. Come on, man. Okay. 
Ah, come on, man. Even if I get past this part, I'm gonna have one freaking health. Uh, well, <sighs> dear lord. load this. We've already done it once. The slippery slope, you know? gotten past that first phase once so far and I fucked up and died instantly twice. It's definitely just getting it down to six health or whatever. Did it quick that time. Have we improved slightly over three hours or whatever of playing this? <laughs> Same goddamn level. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> fuck, dude. Ugh.
That's not a knife. Wordle in three. Nice. GG, Ziltoid. Beating this part consistently with the cross. The cross is the way to go. We've improved a little bit. start with no whip. The whip power up thing is so annoying. Like just give me the whole the whole fucking enchilada to start with. It's the full powered full length whip. gotta beat this part I can't I'm, I go another stream without beating this part like how can I how can I show my face you know
Definitely getting better at this part. But it's because I took that getting here out of the equation. Without doing that, I was just it was so frustrating having to work all the way back up to here. Sometimes you gotta cheat to win. That's uh, that's what we've that's what we've learned. That's the moral of today's stream. <laughs> and even then, we might probably still not win. Ugh, I don't want this. Oh God, damn it! Too much health there. Is there more meat along the way? Can a fella get some meat? <laughs> What's a fella got to do to get some meat around here? Dude. Forty minutes. Nothing to show. Thank you. 
Please hold. Ah, game on. Stayed down there. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Sip my beverage. shit like ah brutal Should I cheat again and save right here? No, we can make it through that part. Let's, I mean, let's not, let's not go overboard, you know? Nice. Fuck yeah. Maybe here is where I should save, right? Now we can do that part now. We don't have to cheat that much. Just a little, little bit. Thanks for the hype. Oh, fuck. I always do that. It's okay, though. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Alright, 
Full whip power. Those fishmen are just so Mick Jagger. Jesus, okay. Oh God. Wish I still had the cross. Fuck. Ah, oh, no. shit okay save state <laughs> ha happy motherfucking easter bitch <laughs> save the state again just to make sure all right we saw it we all saw it okay fuck you i'm out <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. We did it. We fucking did it. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Seriously, it was like three hours on that one level. Absolute madness. <sighs> Thanks for the GGs. It was so dramatic. We did it on the last... Like, as the clock expired, our final life. Praise zombie Jesus. Fuck yeah. Thanks for being here as we beat a level <laughs> of Castlevania 3. All right. Uh, right on. Peace out. Um, I'll be back. I don't know when. Work schedule is weird and keeps changing. So we'll see. But I hope to see you then uh, whenever that is. Peace out. Thanks, Spuds, for the GGs. Thanks, Blue. Thanks, Ziltoid. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, tuning in. Peace out. What we call reality is, in fact, nothing more than a culturally sanctioned and linguistically reinforced hallucination of some sort. The world.